Dear Lord, you said in your word that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Our community needs you. People are hurting and lost. Kids are dying. Am I righteous enough for you to hear me? Please, we need you. People need to know you are real. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all, we need to pray. Oh, Adele, we at church. I'm being serious and you always playing about stuff. What's wrong? You making me nervous. Yeah, me too. Kalamazoo is not the place to be, literally and spiritually. The news is always talking about somebody getting shot, especially our age. And if it's not someone else trying to kill us, it's ourselves with like drugs or suicide or something. So you're trying to leave? I mean, I hear what you're saying, but violence and death is not just unique in our community. Drugs, not just in Kalamazoo. I know that, but I feel like my... Like, something's not right in my spirit. I feel like I'm under attack. Like I'm about to go to war. It says someone trying to jump you. Say less. No, bro, no. It's like, with all this stuff going on around us, I feel like we're not doing anything about it. And before we know it, one of those news stories is going to be us. What's up? Nothing, I'm all right. Okay, tell me what's really going on. Um, you know, just stuff. Hi, ladies, how are you? Hey, is this a robbery? No, oh, I'm doing fine. Love your smile. Thank you. <laughs> but I don't know, just all this stuff going on in the community, like around me, is just swaying in on me heavy. Like, kids my age are literally like, committing murder, gun violence, the sex, the drugs, is I don't know. Saying it out, like, out loud, like, sounds so crazy. Well, it don't sound crazy because these are very valid feelings. Um, but I'm curious, in all of this heaviness that you said that you're feeling, what is God directing you to do? Honestly, it's literally like he's telling me to go to war and, like, prepare for a war against the enemy, who I wouldn't even, like, I couldn't even identify if he was looking me right in the face. This is true, and I mean, as a believer, that's accurate because Ephesians 6.12 tells us that the war that we fight is not between flesh and blood, right? It's not something that we can touch, but it's in the spiritual realm. It's against the evil spirits in the dark places, in the heavenly places. And so evil itself, it manifests in the community as gun violence, as sex, as drugs, as suicide. So like, what does this mean? It means that your preparation for war is in scripture. Yes, it is. You're right. All right, well, it's a little cold out here. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I mean, if you want to hang out in the chapel for a little while, meditate, and I, I promise you that God will tell you what you need to know. All right. We know, what is she right? Like, something about to go down. True, but you trying to act crazy or something? Well, whatever it is, text me, because I got to go to practice. We should go check up on Brooklyn and make sure she's straight. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll see y'all later. All right, see you. Be safe. Same fine. What's up? Who are y'all? You don't even got to worry about all that. But this depression and low self-esteem and suicide not too far away. Y'all mamas really named y'all that? What do y'all want? What do you think we want? We want you. What do you really need? It's evident. You want to get rid of us, but you can't. I thought you were having the bodies are real, and we're not going in. That's where you're wrong. The God in me is greater than the devil. Facts. We know scripture too. We yell for your spirit. The he in you is we. Stop! No, y'all! Lord, I know you say how I'm feeling. What should I do? Well, I got an idea. Who are you? Let's just say someone who has your best interests at heart. Jesus? I knew you was black. You know what your problem is. You think too much. Sometimes you can't sit around and pray. You gotta strike while the iron is hot. You gotta
got to take action now. Hey, Pastor does talk about immediate application. Exactly. Yeah, striking while the iron is hot is like I was saying. But you don't need to know scripture to know that. I don't need scripture. This can't be right. Sometimes you got to act like a lion, seeking whom you may devour. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Wait a minute. You the devil trying to lead me away from the scripture, ain't you? Guilty. But again, I have your best interest at heart. Oh, like you had Eve's best interest at heart? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Why do you have a freak of holes? The discussion in class is real good. Yeah, and right on time to what we talked about the other day. Speaking of which, has anybody heard from Anias? Her mom called my mom. She's home resting, but she'll be here about Sunday. So this where y'all hang after class? This cute? Well, y'all, let's just say we the reason your friend didn't make the crack. And now, we're coming for y'all. Get him! <laughs> I've been looking for you. God has a purpose for you, and I can't let you step into that. Just name a time and a place. Catch me if you can. Oh, you got the wrong one today. No, I don't. You're a foul to fall for the tricks of the devil. What? And through all things, depression sure did me. You're a queen. Do you really think you're an overcomer? It's sad that God gave y'all all this power and you don't even know how to use it. I've come to steal, kill, and destroy. The gospel is dead and that's why you'll never win. The less of you there are, the better. You're wrong. The gospel ain't dead. His power is at work in me. You have no power. Jesus be death, hell, and the grave. You're already defeated.